Y'all know I like to share y'all a little bit of news and these traffic stops and every now and then we like to sit up and drop our opinion about that. That's what we're going to be doing here today. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this down at the bottom in the comments below. First off, please like the video, subscribe and join the discord. The discord is essentially the, you know, the entire channel team. So go ahead and become a part of the team. Uh, we appreciate the support. Check this out. They got no reason to pull us over. Hey, is there a problem? Yeah, stepping forward, you're already fine, so you got your license, registration, proof of insurance. What'd you pull this over for? Hey, bud, I got a question. Are you the one that sent uh, fucking losers out the window as you drove by? I don't answer questions. Okay, yeah, that was definitely you. Um, and that is loud and boisterous conduct upon a public roadway. That's public disorderly conduct. So that's what you pulled us over for, is you thought you heard somebody say something? Now, y'all know I got to keep it transformative. Already, we have established what the problem is going on here, what they upset about, what the point of conflict is. Check this out. I don't answer questions. You're, hey, listen here, you idiot. You work for us. Okay. You're a public servant. Okay. You're supposed to be professional, okay. not me. I don't have a code of conduct of, to go by. You do. Okay. Name and badge number? We don't have badge numbers, bud. Yeah, that's a lie. What's the name and badge number? We don't have badge numbers. Well, would you like my computer number? Why did he give me a number and you can't? That's because he gave you his computer number, bud. It's 14 zero. You need to calm down. You need to calm down and go learn about some professionalism. Okay. You're going to hear from my lawyer. I can't wait. This is an illegal stop. You have to witness a traffic violation or suspect us of a crime. Yeah, I was going to say, would you like to hear the traffic violation? Yes, actually, I would. Yeah, because we wasn't speeding. We don't have any lights out. Didn't do anything wrong. This is a retaliatory stop for yeah. something that you thought you heard. No, no. By the way. <laughs> so that you don't you hurt lights are required one hour before dusk <laughs> just step on uh, yeah i can't wait this is gonna be great why don't you get your supervisor over here i'm not required to you can ask for one i'm asking for one that's what i just did okay. yeah you can ask for one yeah i'm asking for a supervisor Matter of fact, get Lieutenant Cawthorn out here. 619-220 on the grounds. Yeah, who? Lieutenant Cawthorn. I, I don't work for Lieutenant Cawthorn. Yes, you do. You work for the Sheriff's Office. He is your supervisor. Get him out here. He's not my supervisor. <laughs> okay. You're going to learn, son. Yeah, I'm right there. I have a registration going out in North Carolina. Oh, that's North Carolina. I don't know where the one is that you need. Really not playing. Now, this is in the mad ego status where you can kind of tell this man is not going to back off until he's satisfied. Check this out once again. So are you not going to get a supervisor out here? Yeah, it's all up to date. I just am a little frazzled. There. Are you not getting a supervisor out here? You can see the severe amount of saltiness in this man's face. Now, at first, I wasn't really getting irritated. But the more and more that I that I look into the dude's face, excuse me, you can see that, man, this guy is extremely butthurt over what they set out the window. 
Like you said, you know, you wanted a supervisor. Man said, I'm not obligated to. You can ask for one, though. And he's like, that's what I'm doing. I'm asking for one. Yeah, yeah, you can ask for one. Like, now he being petty. And he is being recorded. I wonder if there will be any type of justice, you know, afforded to do from this video. But, of course, y'all got to let me know whether or not you feel like he deserves it for even antagonizing him out of the window. Like, because to a certain extent, you know, you get the energy that you put out. You know, man, quit messing with them. Quit messing with them brothers out there. Okay, cool. Brooks. Okay. Are you recording? Actually recording? Yeah, I'm actually recording. <laughs> See how he come up to the car, old man. He's like, he's looking like he was going to fight. He's not going to get a supervisor. Now, it's at this point in the video. Your woman kind of silent because she like, you you didn't have to yell that out the window. Now they over here on us. You know, this is why as men, we got to be paying more attention to the situations that we put our women into, man, because... You know, it's unfair for her to have to ride into that storm with you. And I ain't saying that they were allowed to do what they were allowed to do, but it's a lot of things that can happen that technically ain't supposed to. Then the burden of trying to prove those things falls upon you, and that can be a real burden. Check this out. They didn't have their lights on when they come after us. When they come to when they pull it out, they come after us and pull us over. They didn't have their lights on. <laughs> so I'd like to see them try that. Man, that dude got a huge problem. That one that was over here, standing on my side, he didn't really seem like he did had that big one attitude, but that cat right there has got a problem. He's got a serious problem. For sure. You're probably sitting in the same whip, and only one of them pressed down on that acceleration. Now, the crazy thing is, is that the, you know, I would even say that he's coping right now. You got to admit, you feel just a little bit embarrassed. About, you know, when you say it, what you said out the window, you probably felt a little younger. I don't want to roast, dude, but you probably felt like you was enjoying yourself. You was having a fun time. You was just letting loose just a little bit too much. Yelled that out the window, thought you was just going right off. Oh, man, you you wilding today. But they didn't let you off the hook like that. And that can happen with them. That can happen with them. You got to think, man, that, that that authority that they have. You know, kind of ev with every day, with every day they get up and go to work. That authority is, you know, kind of the way that you age and you feel like you refuse to let, you know, youth talk as if they more experienced than you when you've been through this, that and the third. It's, you know, they and it may be wrong for them to do, but they kind of, you know, might feel like that. Where now a simple person riding by yelling out the window has irritated him enough to pull them over and give them all the smoke. That's probably why he's having to drive with them old junky Crown Vicks and not get one of the nice new Chargers. Either that or he's in wreck his new Charger or Explorer, what it is, and he's having to drive that while he gets his car fixed. Ooh. 
Well, she irritated. <laughs> she irritated, but I ain't even mad at her. She like they didn't have it. That was the one thing they got at her for. Was she like we was upheld right? Like we didn't do nothing. You ain't got your lights on. She like. Oh. So that's what she thinking about. But at the same time, though, man, she kind of tight lipped at the same time. She just sucked the lemon about the fact that you got her pulled over. See, you yelled out the window, but you ain't the one that's driving. Got your headlights on. Pardon me? Will you do me a favor? You just step out of the vehicle so I explain this to you. No. Can you not explain you to him? You gotta get out of here. No, Nicole, not really. You didn't explain what? No, Corey. No, Corey. I just want to speak to you. Can you Don't answer any questions. Yeah, I want to be present with the conversation. I need him to be present for me. Will you come to talk to him here? Are you doing? I would like. I would, I would like to explain the citation that I'm issuing you, not him. So if you would do me a favor. Exactly. She ends up being issued the citation. He's like, I'm not about to help you record us. And so this is nearing the end of the uh, video. And you guys, I'm quite sure by now, have an opinion on this, whether or not you feel that, you know, the boys were wrong or if you feel that this passenger was wrong. Most of all, I feel bad for the lady driving. Uh, I think that, you know, when, with her place, it was just, you know, bad thinking on her dude's part, and sadly enough, she ended up being stuck with the consequence. So I stopped you for two reasons. Okay. First reason is when you came on the 28, you didn't signal 100 feet prior to turning on the 20. Everybody like has to be initiated within before 100 feet before you turn on the 28. Okay. So and when he's hanging out of the window, those can be misconstrued as arm signals, otherwise known as turn signals. When he's holding the bird out, if okay. somebody else construes that as you turning and you don't turn, somebody pulls out in front of you and hits you. Okay. Is that fair? No, I, no, I don't agree with it, but I see where you're coming from. This is going in as a contact only. There's no fourth. There's no five. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. Uh, here's all of your information back. Thank you. Here's warning. Thank you. Drop safe. All right.